What is up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hot Farm. We are back at the chicken compost system. Let's give you an update. So not only am I gonna give you an update on the system itself, but you remember that really big pile of compost on the last video that I turned? You're pretty much standing right beside it. <laughs> well, I've been using it, look. That big pile of compost is almost gone. And I'm gonna show you how we've been using it. But first, it's time to take all that stuff right there in Bay 3 and start a new pile that I just raked clean right over here. Now some of you may run across when you're doing your compost piles, when you're turning your compost, some white looks like mildew, mold, fungus, fungi, something along those lines. Something kind of like this up here. Okay, it's white and moldy a little bit. For a compost pile, that's not bad guys. That just means it's not ready yet. It's not, you don't want to use it at that point. If you find it in your compost pile, just turn it. Look at it again in a couple of days, in a week. If it's still there, turn it again. Well, that's what's worked for me anyways. Find what works for you. baby let's show you what this pile is looking like it's actually looking like a really really good pile guys this set of leaves here I shredded them with a push mower so they're really really small leaves so they broke down really good they broke down really good here shoot we could even throw some green grass clippings in there heat this pile up real quick and get this really nice fine consistency real fluffy it's almost there already okay so let's show you what's under the big pile that we had what's left and then let's go show you what I've been doing with all this compost all right so I just pulled the cover off and I put it on a new pile I don't want them messing with the new pile. We're gonna come in here and we'll wheelbarrow this out today. <laughs> the rest of this out today and uh, put it out in the gardens. Where's my shovel? Here's my compost shovel. This is what it's looking like. These guys all through it, all over the place looking it's still pretty rough because I didn't start off with shredded material like I did with the pile over there it was kind of chunky kind of leafy so I definitely suggest shredding your material as fine as possible but I tell you one thing it's working well let's go show you what it's doing all right so here's the first thing I've been doing with that compost is I've been starting seeds this is a flat of green beans, uh, so all this soil in here is the compost. It's still kind of woody, but the seeds started just fine. The big seeds started no problem. And then also, I've potted up about 100 tomato and 25 pepper plants. They started off in the little seed trays. And then I potted them up into bigger pots. So 
see this one is a Cherokee purple. So each tray is pretty much the same thing. If it's not, it's got a tag in it. So I potted up plants. Started seeds, potted up plants. Oh yeah, we got some watermelons that we started up that way. I like to start my watermelons and melons in pots, in big pots, um, because their root system doesn't like to be bound up. So if you're gonna start them in a little seed tray, make sure you transplant them quickly. Um, so here's melons right here getting started. They are cantaloupe and watermelon. Uh-oh, we got some escapees. Oh yeah, I didn't show you some more seed starts over here. We got some uh, cucumber seed starts. Some more lettuce, and we've got a whole bunch of stuff we just started. Herbs, um, rosemary, chives, um, cilantro, a whole bunch of herbs, and some squashes. Uh-oh, I said we got some escapees, look. How'd y'all get out, little ones? Hopefully that'll help. So let's go show you the next spot we've been using that compost. Right here. All right, the wind is blowing pretty good, so I'm gonna get kind of close and uh, explain what I did here. This is a 50 foot bed by five foot bed. 50 by five. I sheet mulched it first with cardboard, and then I laid at least four inches of compost on top of that sheet mulch. Of the compost that I just showed you that I pulled the tarp off. The stuff that we made all winter. That's going in here. Now, I have done a video on this bed already showing you how I planted it. Planted with a whole bunch of different plants, guys. I didn't come in and just say, I wanna grow tomatoes and just plant tomatoes. What I was thinking about while planting this was the sun, how the sun's gonna hit this bed, and how tall the plants get. So down here, all, all around the edge, I put onions. You can see these little spindly onions all around the edge. Right behind that, we have radishes popping along with some turnips and carrot there's carrot so all three three different types of seed thinning each other out so right behind those root crops we have lettuce right here there up a little bit right behind the root crops that'll get tall or a little bit taller than the root crops right behind that we have green beans they're a bush bean variety so they're not going to need to vine they're going to bush up about two foot max so it'll be taller than the lettuce and get its sun. Right behind that, we have peas, a, sh a sugar snap pea, a running pea, a pea that needs to run so we have it going up this fence. So we're thinking about the really short stuff up here in the front, and then we build it on up. It's like the edge of a forest. Have you ever seen the edge of a forest and notice how many different types of plants are at the edge of a forest and how it starts at the ground with grasses, clovers, weeds, gets taller with bigger herbaceous and then it's taller with bushes and then you got the vining stuff going through and then after the bushes you got the smaller trees and then you got the bigger trees same concept here i'm gonna walk you all the way down it give you a nice look at what's growing in here so here's the onions along the front right behind it the root crops which is turnips radishes and carrots you can just start to see the carrot popping up right here it starts to look like little pieces of grass the turnips and radishes we'll be harvesting before the carrot. So the turnips and radishes will grow first, we'll harvest those, and we'll let the carrots keep growing. And then back behind it, the lettuce is coming out. There's one of our praying mantises. If you missed that video, I'm gonna drop that link in right there so you can watch how to find your own praying mantis cocoons and protect your garden with praying mantises. So right behind the lettuce is where we have beans, the green beans, the bush beans. Just starting to pop. And then right behind that we have the peas and they're just starting to pop as well. There's one there. And there. 
All right guys, so with all that compost we made over the winter with the chicken composting system, we planted out a 50 foot by five foot bed, hundreds of potted plants, and we still have some left to use. So would I recommend a chicken composting system? You better believe it. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you on the next one. I think we're gonna get blown away.